Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, This shall be the law of the leper for the day of his cleansing. He shall be brought to the priest. And the priest shall go, shall go out of the camp, and the priest shall examine him. And indeed, if the leprosy is healed in the leper, then the priest shall command to take for him who is to be cleansed two living and clean birds, cedar wood, scarlet, and hyssop. And the priest shall command that one of the birds be killed in an earthen, earthen vessel over running water. As for the living bird, he shall take it, the cedar wood, and the scarlet, and the hyssop, and dip them and the living bird in the blood of the bird that was killed over the running water. And he shall sprinkle it seven times on him, who is to be cleansed from the leprosy, and shall pr pronounce him clean, and shall let the living bird loose in the open field. Who is He who is to be cleansed shall wash his clothes, shave off, shave off all his hair, and wash himself in water, that he may be clean. After that he shall come into the camp, and shall stay outside his tent seven days. But on the seventh day he shall have all his, all the hair of his, be, hair, all the hair of his head and his beard and his eyebrows, and all his hair he shall shave off. He shall wash his clothes and wash his body in water, and he shall be clean. And on the eighth day he shall take two male lambs without blemish, one ewe lamb of the first year without blemish, three tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering and one, and one log of oil. Then the priest who makes him clean shall present the man who is to be made clean in those things before the Lord at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. And the priest shall take one male lamb and offer it as a trespass offering in the log of oil and lay them as a wave offering before the Lord. Then he shall kill the lamb in the place where he killed where he kills the sin offering and the burnt offering in a holy place, for as the sin offering as a priest, so is the trespass offering. It is most holy. The priest shall take some of the blood of the trespass offering, and the priest shall go put it on the tip, shall put it on the tip of the right ear of him who is to be cleansed, on the thumb of his right hand, and on the big toe of his right foot. And the priest shall take some of the log of oil and pour it into the palm of his own left hand. Then the priest shall dip his right finger in the oil that is in his left hand and shall sprinkle some of the oil with his finger seven times before the Lord. And of the rest of the oil in his hand, the priest shall put some on the tip of the right ear of him who is to be cleansed on the thumb of his right hand, and on the big toe of his right foot, on the blood of the trespass offering. The rest of the oil that is in the priest's hand, he shall put on the head of him who is to be cleansed. So the priest shall make atonement for him before the Lord. Then the priest shall offer the sin offering, and make atonement for him who is to be cleansed from his uncleanness. Afterward he shall kill the burnt offering, and and the priest shall offer the burnt offering and the grain offering on the altar. So the priest shall make atonement for him, and he shall be clean. But if he is poor and cannot afford it, then he shall take one male lamb as a trespass offering to be waived, to make atonement for him, one tenth of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, a log of oil, a lock of oil and and two turtle doves or two young pigeon two young pigeons, such as he is able to afford. One shall be a sin offering and the other a burnt offering. He shall bring them to the priest on the eighth day for his cleansing, to the door of the tabernacle of meeting before the Lord. And the priest shall take the lamb of the trespass offering and the lock of oil, and the priest shall weigh them as a wave offering before the Lord. Then he shall kill the lamb of the trespass offering, and the priest shall take some of the blood of the trespass offering, and put it on the tip of the right ear of him who is to be cleansed, on the thumb of his right hand, and on the big toe of his right foot. 
and the priest shall pour some of the oil into the palm of his own left hand. And the priest shall sprinkle with his right finger some of the oil that is in his left hand seven times before the Lord. And the priest shall put some of the oil that is in his hand on the tip of the right ear of him who is to be cleansed, on the thumb of the right hand, and on the big toe of his right foot, on the place of the blood of the trespass offering. The rest of the oil that is in the priest's hand he shall put on the head of him who is to be cleansed, to make atonement for him before the Lord. And he shall offer one of the tur turtle doves or young pigeons such as he can afford, such as he is able to afford, the one as a sin offering and the other as a burnt offering with the grain offering. So the priest shall make atonement for him who is to be cleansed before the Lord. This is a law for one who had a leprous sore who cannot afford the usual cleansing.